today was a very short game. Um, could you describe um, how do you uh, usually um, prepare for such a uh, such a game, such a match when it's a knockout event and you have uh, one opponent only with both colors? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot depends on what color you start with in the match. Um, obviously, if you start with white and you win, it's very good. If you draw, it's bad. I mean, it, it just hinges on the color mainly. But, you know, I think the big difference now between before is that I just don't really worry um, about things. And I think, uh, I think this game is a good example because Levon, I mean, he thought that he was, he was better, maybe much better. I basically just thought, well, I mean, either I'm completely fine or I'm going to lose the game. And when you have such an attitude, I mean, it's, it's very easy. You just tr try to play moves. You don't worry about some threat. You don't worry about the threats. You just try to find good moves. And that makes it, I mean, just, just very simple. So, I mean, there, like now is much different than before, for sure, in terms of preparation. Because in the past, I would definitely, you know, you worry about losing a second game with black and the world ending now, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Right, so tomorrow is a tie break. Um, you have recently made uh, a lot of tricks uh, with speed runs to 3000, uh, where you played only Gambit, some very tricky openings. Uh, openings. So um, I had this question uh, could it be so that all those uh, uh, different approaches that you had might help you to have some tricky ideas to come up with the Blitz tiebreaker tomorrow? And obviously, you didn't have to share all the secrets. <sighs> I mean, I, I, I really don't know. I think it uh, depends what sort of mood I'm in tomorrow as far as how I play. Um, I mean, as, as I've said before, obviously, I've exceeded my expectations. And I mean, not losing a classical game, I mean, is, is very nice. So I don't know what I'll do tomorrow, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I won't, uh, I won't hang a queen or anything like that. Otherwise, it would be yet another boot as Gambit, right? Something like that, yeah. Something along those lines. Um, there are these players, Sivian, Neiman, and Liang. They are young and strong. They're rated between 26 and 27. Which one of them do you expect to be the next to join you guys in the Team US? OK, that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's a very loaded kind of question. I, I think um, what I would say is that uh, for all of them, it's going to require a lot, of, um, a lot of luck. They're going to have a few opportunities here or there and have to, have to Perform very well. I mean, obviously Hans is probably, I mean, the strongest at the moment. I mean, I you said Li, did you say Liam or Zhang? Which one do you say? Uh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liam. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because because to me, I think Jeffrey actually is, I mean, quite a bit stronger potentially. So Jeffrey Zhang, I think, and Hans Neiman have the have the biggest upside again. I mean, when you look at where I mean the top players are near 2750, I mean it's it's very tough. There's a very very big difference between 2700 and 2750, so it's going to be tough for any of them. Um, but I think they'll they'll have some opportunities, and hopefully one of them breaks through. Yeah, I didn't mention Jeffrey because he has already crossed 27. But yeah, I meant Lavender. So you think Jeffrey is going to be? Well, but I mean Liam is like, isn't? You mean Laquan, right? But yeah. I mean he's like, isn't he? Maybe I'm crazy, but isn't he like 28 or something? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I think he's, he's not exactly young. Um, he's not a junior, that's for sure. Okay, Avander then. Oh, 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 not Liang. Ah, you mean, you mean Liang. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. sorry. sorry. Okay, okay, another one. Um, yeah, I mean, I think what I said before, I mean, getting to all the different levels is very tough. Getting to like 20, 2600 is hard, 2650 is hard, 27 is extremely hard, 2750 is, I mean, borderline impossible in most cases. So, I mean, None of them are getting any younger, but probably Hans or Jeffrey are the two who have the, have the best chance uh, overall. Right, and perhaps the last, the last question for today. Now that you reached the finals uh, and your next stage is going to be again in Berlin, have you already made up your mind either you're staying here in Germany or you're going to make the, the roundabout <laughs> trip? To, um, to I mean, I think that's what, like a month away or something, first yeah. of all. Uh, no, I mean, obviously, obviously I'm going home. I have, I have a real job to, to do for the next month. So uh, I'll, I'll go back and I'll come back to Germany um, for the tournament. The real job. Yeah, I mean, one of, one of the jobs, yes. All right, perfect. Thank you and um, hope you have a great rest because tomorrow is an important day. <laughs> yeah, thank you.